Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson 13. And in this lesson, students are gonna be adding a pair of two digit numbers, and we're gonna have to do some regrouping. But here's the thing, we're not going to be teaching our students that standard algorithm yet. At this point, we're still trying to teach our students number sense. We're teaching our students that numbers can be decomposed and then recomposed and put back together in uh, strategic ways. Uh, the reason we're staying away from that standard algorithm is uh, because when we're teaching the standard algorithm, students often begin to lose a sense of numbers and they lose that number sense. Uh, so we're really trying to maintain uh, two things at the same time. One, helping students get the answer to a simple addition problem, but we're also trying to really teach into our students' number sense. So let's get started. So I'm gonna just use these problems. I'm not gonna solve all of them, but I'm gonna use these problems to show a variety of different ways that we want our students to use to solve the problems. We're really trying to teach into our students flexibility and uh, a, a number sense. So uh, let's take a look at 46 plus 49. So I'm going to zoom in 46 plus 49. And one of the things is we want students to recognize when a number is close to a milestone, like a decade. So 49 is really close to 50. It only needs one more. So we want our students maybe to consider decomposing 46 into 45 plus 1, which then means we can add 1 plus 49, so we would write it 1 plus 49 is 50, and then we'll take that 50 and add in the remaining 45, got to add in that remaining 45, and we want our students to be able to do that in their head and get 95. All right, so parents and teachers, this is absolutely not the standard algorithm. Uh, in fact, a lot of people would say, well, why did I bother creating two separate addition problems when really I could have just stacked them up and added? Well, we're trying to add, we're trying to teach number sense. And really, if you think about it, if we were to have stacked them up that official way, wouldn't we have had to add two things anyway? So here we're adding two things. And this traditional way, we would have been adding two things. We would have added 9 and 6, and then we would have added 4, 4 plus the extra 1. So um, at this point, we're really not talking about speed. We're not talking about efficiency, and we're not even um, at this point trying to get that standard algorithm. At this point, we're really just trying to help students recognize uh, how to use strategic uh, methods you know, in this case, recognize that one of the numbers was close to a decade, 50 in this case, and that we can decompose and make a friendly number, all right? So, oh, let's do another example. Another example, oh, 28 plus 54, and I'll use a different strategy. Maybe on this strategy, students might say, well, I see that 28 is 20 plus 8, and I see that 54 can be decomposed as 50 plus 4. So now let's take the 20 and the 50, add those together to get 70. Let me take the 8 and the 4, add those together to get 12. And then I'll add the 70 and the 12, and I'll get 82. All right. There you go. And once again, not to belabor the point, but parents and teachers, I really want you to understand, at this point, we're not trying to teach efficiency. At this point, we're trying to teach students about numbers and that numbers can be broken apart and put back together again in strategic ways that make our lives easier rather than just blindly and rotely following a, a rule. In this case, uh, down the road, especially in second and third grade, we're going to want students to be able to do all of this work in their head. So for now, first grade, we're going to have our students explicitly write these things down. But in future grades, maybe even later in first grade, we're going to want students to be able to perhaps just decompose it literally on the paper like this up here, but then do all of this work in their head, where a student might be able to just simply say, well, 20 plus 50 is 70, 
8 plus 4 is 12, 70 plus 12 is 82. So do all of this work mentally. Oh, let's see. Can I come up with one more example? Sure, let's do another example. Let's, we can think of this as uh, quick tens. Uh, so we can take 57, and I can model 57 as five tens, one, two, three, four, five, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's, there's our 57, model 50 and seven. Now let's add in 36. So what does 36 mean? Well, I'm gonna add three more tens. So I'm gonna try and make that a little bit thicker so it kind of sticks out. We got one, two, three more tens. And now we have uh, six ones to add in. Well, I know that I've got seven right here. So I'm gonna add in one, two, three. That completes a 10, four, five, six. So what do we have? We now have, let's see, all of these are tens. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 80. I could have thought of it as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Plus we built another 10 right here. So I'm gonna make that a 10, so that's 90, that makes 90, plus we have these extra three right here, so of course our answer is 93. This is not efficient, this is not fast, it's not even close to the standard algorithm, but we do, it is evidence. If I were to see a first grader using this technique, I clearly would be able to see that she understands that this is, this five represents five tens, and that this seven represents seven ones, and similarly, this three represents three tens, and this six represents six ones. So I would, if I were to see a student using this technique, I would be happy because clearly that student is developing or showing me an understanding of what these numbers mean. All right, so a lot of problems, and I'm not going to solve them all because the point of this is to show a variety of different techniques. So this page is really just more of the same. It's just more opportunities for people, for students to practice, tons of practice, because this is such an important skill, not to use that standard algorithm, but instead to think about these numbers strategically and use number sense, which is not efficient, but number sense to get the answer. Efficiency will indeed come later when students learn that standard algorithm, but right now we want students to develop an understanding of numbers. So what might be a good strategy on this problem? Well, we might want to re have our students recognize that, ooh, 39 is close to a decade. It's close to a friendly number. In fact, it's close to 40. So that means we might decompose 57 to 1 plus 56 because 39 needs only one more to get to 40. So we would have 39 plus one gives us 40. So I've added these two. And then I'm gonna take that 40 and I'm gonna add in the remaining 56, which gives me 96. All right, that's the idea. Um, ooh, what's this one? How might a student do this one? Oh. It doesn't really matter. I mean, there's so many different methods. How about, how about we decompose both of them? So let's decompose 17 to be 1, I mean 10 and 7, and decompose 76 to be 70 plus 6. Now let's add our 10s. So we're going to have 10 plus 70, which gives us 80. Now let's add our 1s. So that's going to be 7 plus 6. That gives us 13. And then we'll add those together. So we have 80 plus 13 gives us 93. And there you go. Now, uh, parents and teachers, if a student seems to be struggling with one method, go ahead and maybe uh, resort or, or move to that more visual approach of using the quick tens. So uh, quick tens, just real quick, <laughs> um, let's do... 38. So I would take 30 and 8 and I would model that. 10, 20, 30, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's my 38. 
Now, if I want to model 44, I would say, okay, here's 10, 20, 30, 40, and then four more. So I'd do one, two, three, four. And the idea is we want students to start moving things to, around to create 10. So we'd see that, well, we have eight, we need two more. So I'm gonna take two of these and I'm gonna move them over here. There's an extra 10. So now how many tens do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, and this whole thing right here is four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight tens, so that makes 80, plus we have these extra two, so plus an extra two, which gives us 82. You know, parents and teachers, I don't like the way I just wrote this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because that's gonna get confusing with, you know, this two. So really, I should have written 10, 20, 30, 40, or perhaps maybe I should have written 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, All right? So be careful about how you note things and do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> All right. And that wraps up a really important lesson. Students are using number sense rather than the official algorithm. Uh, to add a pair of two-digit numbers. And so that was first grade module six, lesson 13. By the way, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.